Okay, so today's the day of my surprise review, and that surprise review is on the In Due Time EP by Meji E and team members Trey Five Cass and Vuski. I know these two artists personally, and I've even lived with one of them. And with that being said, some people may think I'm being biased when it comes to this, but when you live with these artists and you know where they come from and you know the hunger that they possess in order to leave the situation that they are in and to go and do the amazing things that they have only talked about, it is so humbling to know that they have come so far in such a short amount of time. Many people would go years before they have their home when it comes to a musical party. And these three members of this group, which is turning into a small label, is so fresh and amazing to know. These men have grown from teenagers and I have watched them as although I am just a year, just a freaking year older than them. The moment I laid my eyes on them and heard what they had to say when they were on the stage in the area that we were in our high school, it definitely shows that they had a hunger that was unlike any other. I've always been amazed with the words that they've put on wax. And every time we've performed together, and every time we have made music together, every time we've brainstormed together, every time we've practiced a session together, it has always been what it should be when you are making music, fun. You have to keep your recording sessions fun. When I was recording with Vuski some years ago when he went by another name, I always made sure that even if I messed up, I would always start laughing. I would always look at the bright side because although I had messed up, slurred a word, or said something completely off balanced from how it should be in relation to the beat, he would always wonder, at least before I revealed it, why exactly I'm laughing. And I told him, got to keep it fun. If you're not having fun, then what exactly do you do it for? And from that point on, we always made sure that with the chemistry that we had, every time we sat down to write something, we would record it to the fullest. And every time we messed up, we would laugh. The frustration would never be there. There is frustration when I have to do multiple takes of these videos, but that's because I'm trying to get my one take. I'm trying to get what I'm saying properly, and I'm trying to put it to wax for the main point that I'm trying to put across so that you understand where I'm coming from. These musicians have definitely come a long way, and from the such humble beginnings of being across the hall from an English and drama teacher, who made a studio off of his own money to give us the ability to record in a safe environment, but only had one requirement, and that one requirement was that we did not cuss, or, in other words, not use certain words, some of which I can't say. But with that being said, some of the most amazing music that we have made to lay the foundation of this delightful home that we have been living in because of rap and because of multiple genres that we've been involved in and listening to over the years, those humble beginnings have made that foundation for this home. And we will never be able to repay the gratitude that we have for that teacher. So for Bill Bleich, if you were seeing this or if you're listening to this, our undying gratitude is definitely never going to be repaid for the time that you took out of your life in order to let us know that our opinion meant something, that we mattered when we stepped into the booth and when we stepped on the stage and spoke our hearts. I know that they feel the exact same way because they referenced it multiple times in their music. They don't reference it on this record, but that doesn't mean the inspiration and the fire and the hunger is not there. This EP is only four tracks, and I wish, I wish it were longer, but it's not. A very bittersweet moment to such an amazing group of artists. It's very nice to see that these brothers were able to come together on this record and show what they were made of every step of the way. I'm very happy to have listened to this record, although I may be late to the party. I am sorry for not staying hip to the jive, as some would say in the old school way. I am very happy that I have found the music though, because I need more music like this. 
The drive is unimaginable, not anything like people have seen before. And some people may think because I know these people personally, I am being very biased. I'm not. I'm just speaking the truth. I hope that there are many more artists like this. And if there are artists out there that can keep someone's mind open to let them understand, you may be listening to very conscious rap and you may be listening to people that are very left field. Some people like Eminem and some people like Immortal Technique. Some other people may like Chief Keef and Lil B. You may not like those artists mainly based off of popular misconception. I have a lot of respect for Lil B. I have growing respect for Chief Keef now. And that is mainly due to my relationship with these artists. It has opened my mind to understand that there are multiple ways to make music and to have your music be relatable and accepted by their fans, by them being the person to deliver. If your thoughts are the bullets that are inside of the magazine and your mouth is the slide that releases them to the world, including its barrel, then you are doing your job as the lyrical weapon that you decided to be. Cast is the verbal Royce the Five Nine and Vusky is of his own descent. He has many inspirations, many of which I would definitely not imagine. One of them being Lil B, others being Chief Keef, G Herbo, many others. But with every lyrical person, there is a strange wild child in there. I have my wild children as well involved in my inspirations. But that doesn't mean that I don't make any less amazing music. In my eyes. But... As time goes by and as minutes turn into hours and hours turn into days, if you ever find yourself weaning the inspiration, then you need to look at your humble beginnings and realize that although you may be in a stint of not making music right now, you take the pain, you take the struggle that you've dealt with, you take the life that you've lived, you take the life that you've seen, and you put that on paper and you make sure that anyone that is listening to your music can relate to it, whether they're the first time listener or a 9,000th time listener. And that's what makes these guys unique as well. They have your attention grasped within the first five seconds. And I've watched them grow from people to do such silly music to making amazing music. We all started off making silly songs. We look back at some of our stuff, but even today, I found a relatively old compilation of music that we had made together, and one of the most influential songs that I have heard from Vusky still reigns in my head to this day. And every time I hear that chorus ring in my head, I become excited. Cass has always been an amazing artist to make his own music, and I hope that he continues to make music when he comes home. And I hope he comes home soon. Safely. With that being said, my name is Ethan, otherwise known as Two-Face, and this is episode 16 of my show, Claws. If you liked what you heard about these two lovely gentlemen, please check out the link below in the description, and it has the link to this project. And while you're there, there is also an extension to the artist page that has other projects attached to it, as well as their Back and Just Unstoppable mixtape. I highly recommend listening to that. I will see everybody on Friday when I review the Lil Xan album, Total Xanarchy. Until then, 